From the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your Cruise News for Thursday, May 9th. During an Alaska cruise on board the Norwegian Encore, a crew member was arrested following an assault on both crew and a passenger. The Alaska cruise took an odd turn earlier this week when the 35-year-old crew member named Nintendo Sigoni attempted to deploy a lifeboat for no reason at all, leading to his apprehension by the onboard security team. Now, he was taken to the medical center on board for a mental evaluation, where he then assaulted a security guard and a male nurse. The altercation then escalated as he attacked two others in an exam room, including a 75-year-old passenger. The FBI took him into custody when arriving into Juneau, Alaska. In a statement, NCL told Cruz Radio, we condemn violent behavior of this nature and are committed to the safety and security of all crew members and our guests on our ships. We commend the onboard security team for their brave actions. If convicted, the crew member faces a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison and a fine of $250,000. And the U.S. Air Force's 920th Rescue Wing from Port Canaveral executed a critical long-range medical evacuation from the Carnival Venezia as it was located around 350 nautical miles off the eastern seaboard. The passenger required immediate specialized medical care beyond the capabilities of what was available in the infirmary. And due to being 350 miles off the coast, it's beyond the operational range of a typical U.S. Coast Guard helicopter, which is where the Air Force stepped in. They deployed that team from Port Canaveral, including two helicopters and two Combat King two aircrafts. This operation required multiple mid-air refuelings and precise coordination. Wild pictures here. The pararescue men were hoisted down on the ship and evacuated the patient and his mother. Hats off to the 920th Rescue Wing for saving a life. Good work there. And two Royal Caribbean ships have reached their new summer homes. Rhapsody of the Seas is now in San Juan, Puerto Rico, while Oasis of the Seas is in the Western Med. Now Rhapsody, which just completed its winter season in Latin America, returns to Puerto Rico, offering the year-round Caribbean schedule from San Juan, going to Barbados, St. Lucia, and the ABC Islands. And Oasis of the Seas is back in the Med after a five-year hiatus. It has resumed its program, starting its seven-night cruises from Barcelona and Rome, with stops in Spain. Spain, France, and Italy. And cruise line stocks were mixed on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation up 1.4%, 14.38. Royal Caribbean flat, 141.67. Norwegian up 3%, 16.08. And Viking down 1%, 28.47. If you have a lead on a story, drop us a line. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Thursday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. Behind-the-scenes content and extras are now available at patreon.com slash Cruise Radio.